Hi guys, welcome to my first game video. I thought I'd dedicate it to the Uncharted 4 multiplayer. Now, I've got to keep this quite brief because YouTube cancelled the video that I uploaded last night because it was too long, so I'm not going to get too in depth. But the reason why I'm going to focus on this is because I've been a very big Naughty Dog fan for the last four or five years in regards to their work, especially when it comes to The Last of Us, which I think changed most games. I've never really been about the story in a game to be honest, even though I am a massive RPG fan, the story's never really bothered me. But as soon as I opened The Last of Us and that first scene when his daughter died, sorry for the spoiler, but I was I was gripped straight away. So I was eagerly anticipating this release and even though I'm only about two hours in, it hasn't disappointed so far. It hasn't. So Rather than go in too in depth and use all the lingo that all the big companies use, I think it's best if I just show you the actual gameplay and explain while I'm doing it. Plus, it'd be a great way to save time, so you two don't give me any more bullshit. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the main multiplayer screen first of all. So here we are. We've got the obvious fine match. I don't think I've got to explain that to you. And we've got private match, so you can have a little secret match with your friends, would be nice. Now this is uh, something new to the multiplayer experience, that's called Trials, where it, it shows you how to use each of the items, so then you can put your own swing on your loadout, which I'm sure all you Call of Duty people will recognise, especially players of The Last of Us, because it had that on there also, where you get to choose your own guns, your own abilities, your own add-ons, etc. There's also a bunch of challenges which are given every day. I've f finished my ones for the day here. I believe the top one was to kill a certain amount of people with grenades, etc. Now, the reason for that is because you end up getting points, which you can see in the bottom right-hand corner here. These, this currency or relics, if you will, which you can then spend on certain customizational items so you can buy new hats, new balaclavas new bullshit stuff like that which to be honest I'm not really too fussed about but some of you might be like here's his brother Sam, I've made him look like a member of Slipknot nice anyway to try and save time I'm just going to go straight into a game of team deathmatch and show you what it's all about I've pardoned my skills right now, by the way. I've only had a couple of goes, so if I'm shit, just remember I've got feelings, alright? I've got to watch my time here, come on, for fuck's sake. Right. It's not being very helpful to me, is it? Alright, I'll choose that loadout. I'll be Sam. What you like about me? Everything. There's a bit of a cheesy standoff loading screen in a second. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. The rooftops. Here we are, look at that. Come on, dude. It's taking its fucking time.
Right, as you can see straight away, you're able to pretty much climb everything and anything, which is very similar to the story mode. The overall gameplay is also very similar to the story mode, to be honest, but uh, the people around about are going to be a lot better than the actual CPU that you're fighting against in the story mode, so be careful. Oh! Ah! Obviously when you get downed, you can have one of your friends help you up, which didn't happen to me that time. It's very fast paced, even though the actual graphics itself are quite slick. Someone stole my kill, great. Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but for that down there, and for pretty much anything I'm doing at the moment, I'm being awarded with money. I've currently got $215. What you use with that money, oh, I'm not going there, is buy certain in-game added boosters, which are very helpful. So if I can get away from, uh, this is a joke. Yeah, right. Fuck off. Anyway. I'll show you when I respawn. What a load of shit. Yeah, anyway. So I could buy... For, for instance, in this loadout, I can buy an extra, extra grenade. Or I could buy an RPG. Or that top one is called a mystical. Which is like an added ability. So I can bring out a tower that sends out random bullets and stuff and that chump there he's what they call a sidekick who can help you on your way by either applying some extra shooting or they can help you revive oh that's quite good if, if you have a look there that person that's killed me for the what feels like the 20th time it says that they had four health left, which is quite good, because I like to know that if I was close to killing them, or if they absolutely raped me. Oh, come on, just get a kill, Jack. It's getting embarrassing. What have I just done? Ah, uh, bought an ability there. Let me show you it. So, I, so I'm now on fire. So I can now run around like crazy. Oh my god! Oh, I'm not doing very well here, guys. I think it's because I'm not concentrating. I'm start concentrating now. Enough of this bollocks. Come on. Now the main objective of this is to get to 40 kills, which doesn't sound like a lot, does it? But we've been playing quite a while now, and it's 15 all, so it should last quite a while. Oh my god. I need some practice at this shit. Feel free to comment below, by the way, if you think I'm absolutely awful, which I will not really mind, because I am. Oh, go on! Yeah, my first kill, people. My first kill. Oh, for fuck's sake! This is quite difficult, actually. This is pretty difficult. Ah, that is a fucking joke. What is that? Get me up. Get me up. Look. Get what the. Oh my god. One and eight. This is absolutely disgusting. These people have too much fucking time on their hands, I swear it. Far too much time on their hands. Come on. Oh, oh stop bullying me now. This is actually bullying. This is actually bullying. This is bullying! Oh, for fuck's sake! Get me up, you bastard. 
This is outrageous. Oh, for fuck, you know. Thank God I'm about to cut this a bit short to be able to upload this video. Oh, shh. that's someone else's buddy. I'm really going to avoid that, really. He's got to die. Hey, redeeming myself a little bit here, people. Redeeming myself a little bit. Oh, yes. I'm not fucking impressed either. What the fuck? Oh, I stole his kill. I'm sorry. Whew. I didn't mean to steal someone's kill then. I feel really bad now. Oh, you what? That is a... No way. What's this person do? This is madness. That is a fucking joke. Uh oh. Well, let's show you an RPG before I turn it around. Well, they fucking scare me, mate. I've been batted. Oh, here we go, look. Silly bollocks. <laughs> right, fuck this. I understand it probably wasn't the best example, as that was absolutely outrageous. But, the main point was to just show you the gameplay as a whole, really. So you can get a good feel for it. Um, the, the other game modes are called Command. Which is a bit like headquarters on Call of Duty. If you ever played it, we got to capture zones and get certain points. And there's plunder, which is a bit like the capture flag, but with like an antique idol. It's very strange. And you can also do ranked team deathmatch. But as you can see, I'm not quite ready for that yet. A few more games. A few more games. Anyway, I think that's pretty much everything that I can really show you in this amount of time. Um, maybe other than the fact that everything you do in game, whether if it's um, a certain kill with that gun or with a grenade, um, the more you do, you eventually keep unlocking extra things, so you unlock more guns and you unlock better weapons. So, it's so what already seems like a very good game, this is a very welcome addition. Very welcome addition. Well, um, thanks very much for watching. Like I said, it wasn't going to be too in depth, but if you could please either like or comment underneath, that'd be great. So you how shit I was, or how much better you are than I am. Or even if you just think that the, the actual game itself is good, that'd be great. Okay guys, thanks. See you later.